One of the coolest things I love about 2024 reaction therapy is what we call reaction therapy 2.0. It's a chance for us to go back in time to reactions we've done in the past that were the most viewed on our channel. And I get to listen to the same song a second time. I know there's always a first reaction, but the second sometimes is sweeter. Today it is Juice World. Sometimes we get to listen to, we all know, the juice days are the best days, y'all. Juice days are the best days. Let's do it without further ado. Oh, the mental health inside this young man's lyrics when he was here on earth, beyond measure. Just sad I never got to see him in person. Juice World, sometimes for the second time. Sometimes, sometimes, sometimes. Oh, what a voice. How they create, it's just, artistry is incredible to me. Uh, both in the literal of art there that he's doing and also with Juice World, Because when I hear this a second time, first time I heard a lot of Juice World, it was very, first of all, I love the beat, but second of all, it was very hard for me to hear because there was a lot of drug use. There was a lot of wild living. There was a lot of just let loose and it doesn't matter, but it does matter. And I think he would say that if he was here today, look at what he says. Just sometimes I want to be lonely. I, be by my lonely, which means be alone. I just want to be by myself. Popping the perks, working by myself. He's got his 40 on him. It's like his gun is his his homie. His gun is his friend. And just, I don't want anybody else around. And that's, you know, there's depression, there's addiction. And I want everybody to know who has ever been around this or is in this or knows somebody who's in this. Depression breeds upon itself. So we curl up in a ball in a dark room, using drugs, looking at social media, doing things on our own. It exacerbates the depression. Getting out, getting active, having a balanced life with eating, exercise, and rest, all helpful to eliminate depression. Getting help, seeing a therapist, all good to help eliminate. But he's describing... Sometimes I just want to be by myself, have my gun with me and my drugs with me and me, and I don't need anything else. And that's just not true. I don't want to be bothered. Ah. Inhale, exhale, breathing ah. just got a little harder. Okay, I know what I'm doing. I know where I'm going. I'll see you in hell. Like, that's where I'm headed. It's so sad for me to see that somebody who's got so much talent, such a gift, and such a heart, loves people. And... I don't think he wanted things to end this way, honestly. But when you get in a heavy enough addiction, your brain is gone. The mind gets dark and wild. The inhale, the exhale, it describes the pain and breathing just from smoking and using over and over again. And you start to lose a little bit of yourself over time. Losing my sanity, just like that. Just losing my sanity. I, I become a different person. Addiction will do that to you. And the key to dealing with addiction is recognizing that enough will never be enough. You'll always need more. I say this as a mental health professional, and sometimes I don't talk seriously enough about it, I think, because I get pumped up about the music with Juice World, and I love the music he's created, and I love the lyrics because they're so honest. And I think if he was sitting here with me today, he would say, I don't want anybody to go down like I went down. You lose your sanity over time, and the way to deal with addiction is to understand enough is never enough. One's too many, and a thousand's not enough, as they say, that you have to arrest the usage and you have to deal with the demons that are making you use. In other words, I'll never be enough. Uh, people only want me for what I can give them. I'm no good. I'm not worth it. All the dark, negative core beliefs that are inside our brain. I could do bad on my own. I get you hear that? He's even saying, and the devil just keeps chasing me. I've sold my soul, basically. There's no way out. I wish he would just quit following me. You ever feel that way? I wish the bad would quit happening. I wish I could just wake up and not feel like I need to use or not feel like something bad is going to happen again today. That's why therapy matters. That's why having somebody in the mental health field to talk to that can sort out what are you doing that's actually creating issues and what are you doing that's not, which means other things happen. It's not your fault, but you can know how to deal with them, how to approach them, how to talk about them, how to face them. Devil keeps lying to him. He's like, I can do bad on my own. Like, I, I can do it myself. I don't need you here to make my life any worse. You can see the sadness, the depression, the loneliness. Basically lost. 
And at that point, it's very hard to turn back. He's describing everything perfectly. I think that's why people can relate to Juice World and his lyrics so well, is that he can describe what the loneliness feels like. He can describe what the craving and the desire feels like to use. He can describe what the high is like and what the low is like. He can describe what the fear is like, the vulnerability is like, and the power and the strength is like about losing his girl or about having his 40 with him, about using the drugs and feeling higher than the clouds and about using the drugs and feeling like I am killing myself. And I don't want anybody to feel that way. That's why help matters. I'll say it over and over again because the description here is somebody who is, he did it right off the top of the dome. So he, he would put out there how he really feels. He just didn't know what to do with it or couldn't have the people around him to get him to the place where he could do something about it because he deserved the help and you deserve the help too. Woo! Probably my favorite, favorite part of the song where he just, it's the classic juice, right? He just goes in fumbling, fumbling, fumbling. And this is to me the rambling thoughts that are so accurate about him. Just, I'm just gonna talk about myself a little bit. It's what I feel like he's saying. And here, here's what my brain works like. So y'all, Pay attention because this is what it's like when you're lost. Boy, does he describe a lot there. God, all these threats. You know, there's a lot, a lot of fear in there too. You know, you get that famous, you get that connected, and all of a sudden you have enemies. Keep the 40 right next to him. Scared of anybody coming up around him, so got to keep a barrier. And then you have nobody that's close to you, and who do you trust in the world at this point? <sighs> So we loading up and shooting like documentary. It's so good. Like he even ties it in. We're shooting, which is shooting the guns, but we're shooting like it's a documentary. We're shooting this whole whole scene here. Oh, he just can't do it. He's just, hmm. I'm going to be the killer. Ain't no one killing me. There's the power. There's the force. This is so interesting in this painting. I don't know if I saw it last time or not, but it's like there's Juice World, and then there's two eyes that are like sideways there. And I wonder what they represent. I wanna go back home. I want y'all to hear that clearly too, because he said this before in the song. There ain't no place like home. I wanna go back home. I hate the world we know. There's no place like home. Just like the Wizard of Oz when Dorothy said it, there's no place like home. And that home piece, you know, for me is a piece, a place of safety, of comfort. I just want to go back home. I don't want to be out where I'm scared all the time and I'm threatened all the time and I have to be you know, looking out all the time. I just want to go where I can find peace. There's no place like home and I want to go there. This world we know, and I say that about our world today, it's just nuts. And we can't all just feel safe and secure. And he speaks it so well amidst all the drug use, amidst all the crazy living, amidst all of the danger. Look at this. It's like this almost demonish skull with beams coming out of its eye holes and the teeth, the mouth open, facing the other direction, demons in the head that's going on with him. And then those eyeballs that I can't figure out what they represent what would I love to know it's almost like those eyeballs are part of that thing but it's not because it looks like it's a skull what a painting y'all man this is good man props to the artist there and that whole song being able to create something like that it's incredible juice world sometimes reaction therapy 2.0 it's why I appreciate us this year going back and listening to songs I've reacted to before because I get a little bit more of a sobering look at what the song means. And this song defines, you know, addiction. It defines despair. It defines depression and loneliness like he talks about. It defines hope and a dream that he could just go back home and have all of this disappear so he doesn't have to be trapped in this world. You can get help. Therapy matters. I promise you when you get somebody good, it can change your entire outlook on life where you don't have to live with anxiety, stress, depression, despair, hopelessness anymore. It is possible. Please 
Remember, it's not real therapy, just Tom Breaking Down Lyrics. If you want help, check the links in the description. You deserve that help. Leave us your comments. Let us know what you think. I always love listening to Juice World. Juice days are the best days. Remember, mental health matters. We'll see you on the next Reaction Therapy. 